Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. After Kevin Owens broke up with Chris Jericho in the Festival of Friendship segment on this week's Raw, it's natural to assume there's now no more love left in this world and we're all going to die cold, lonely deaths. Not according to Finn Balor, though, who lifted our collective wrestling spirits by wishing us all a happy Valentine's Day with Seth Rollins from what seems to be a local medical facility with Triple H in the background. Seth, run! He's behind you! Ah, who am I kidding? He'll wait at least five months before calling Triple H out. The latest update on Bala, who's been out with a torn labrum since last August, comes from Cage Side Seats' rumour section. Just like Dave Meltzer has been reporting for the past few weeks, they say Bala is expected to return in time for WrestleMania 33, but he's unlikely to have a match on the show. Bala and Rollins aren't the only ones to have a picture of Triple H on their wall. WWE tweeted a picture of presenter Kathy Kelly at her office desk over the weekend, to which Xavier Woods replied, Oh, you all just gonna act like that's not there? Zooming in on the photo of Triple H posing with Triple H. Following Rosa Mendez announcing her retirement from professional wrestling earlier this week, we now have an equally momentous decision. Brock Lesnar has reportedly retired from mixed martial arts again. MMA Fighting are reporting that Brock has notified the UFC that he'll be leaving the sport, which a UFC spokesperson has since confirmed. Lesnar first retired from MMA after losing at UFC 141 back in 2011. He made his spectacular return at UFC 200 last July, defeating Mark not a swear word. But the source of his spectacularness quickly came out. Lesnar had failed two drugs tests leading up to the fight and has been suspended from competition ever since. Interestingly, because UFC 200 took place in Las Vegas, the Nevada Athletic State Commission were one of the bodies who suspended Brock. This might be why he couldn't appear on this week's Las Vegas-based episode of Raw. John Cena, however, has no such plans as he told Jonathan Coachman on ESPN's Sports Center. I am far from retiring. I feel like I am at my physical best. I don't think it's any secret to anybody that this is what I love to do the most and I am far from over. He will be taking time off after WrestleMania 33 though. Cena isn't currently being advertised for any WWE events after the 2nd of April show. And now Dave Meltzer has revealed on Wrestling Observer Radio that John will be taking another hiatus from the company. This has been rumored for a while and marks Cena's steady transition into a more part-timer role with the company. He took two months off at the end of last year to film his reality show American Grit and this upcoming break is presumably for his starring role in comedy film The Pact, which is out in 2018. The Smackdown television show should be fine as they've built up a solid viewership. The Blue Brand's live events, however, are expected to take a sizable hit without Cena's name at the top of their cards. How would you write John Cena off television after WrestleMania 33? Tell me by having The Club Beat up John Cena in the comments below. If you want to watch my review of this week's great Raw episode, or find out where John Cena's brilliant Royal Rumble match against AJ Styles ranks in my top 10 matches of January 2017, click the videos to the left and subscribe. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.